Hey guys, just a quick guide on overclocking here. This is a Intel Core i7-950 and uh, on an EVGA 4-way uh, SLI board with a uh, 4 graphics card, of course. So let's start. I loaded the default, so let's just um, let's disable a few things here. We'll disable the J-Micron chips. Um, I'm only using one uh, Ethernet port, so let's disable this. Uh, I have no case, so I'm disabling uh, things I'm not going to be using right now. These are temperatures, 29 on the CPU and uh, 36 degrees system temperature. The V-Regs are at 32. This is a uh, CPU and uh, V-Regs are all uh, liquid cool right now. North Bridge is at a 54. It would be at 70 if I didn't have a fan blowing cold air onto it. So let's start. So first of all, we'll bring down our uh, multiply it on the 20 oops I did say 20 alright we'll bring this or frequency will bring it to 200 alright so it gives us a uh, 4 gigahertz on 1602 um, megahertz for the RAM so and I'll go to CPU features um, alright we'll keep all this on usually uh, I disable all that just uh, just to be more e efficient, so let's set our uncore to 32, to a 5. Set our voltages here, it's at a 1.36 right now. Set it at 1.4 just to ensure uh, stability right now. See our RAM's at a 1.7. Go to memory features. This is CL6 timing RAM, so 6, 8, 6, and 24. That's what it's rated for, so I'll just keep that like that. Memory frequency, we'll manually set it to 1067, so it keeps it at a 1600 megahertz, just a slight overclock. Alright, turbo performance is off obviously when you uh, set it to um, multiplier of 20, so yeah, should be good to boot. So let's uh, save these settings and try to boot in the windows. Should have cleared my CMOS, but. CMOS, CMOS, I have no idea. Alright, so I'll just uh, restart this real quick. There we go. Now it should boot into Windows. Most computers could uh, will most likely boot with these settings. I'd say about 80% of yous can uh, boot at these settings, so feel free to try it. So there we go, we got our Windows, yes, I know Windows shut down unexpectedly, I pushed the power button, silly me. Alright, let's check out my, uh, let's check this out prior to, um, prior to, uh, Rerunning the assessment, so I don't know if you can see that. So the CPU is 7.5 to RAM 7.6, 7.9 for graphics, and 7.2 for hard disk. So, so let's rerun these assessments and see what we get with this overclock. There we go. I see a significant change in my scores right now. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll bring it closer again. For now, instead of 7.5, I got 7.7 .7 on my CPU. I got 7.9 on the RAM. 
graphics is still at 7.9 and my hard drive is still at 7.2 so this is an overclock at 4 gigahertz let's uh, put that there for a second let's uh, back out of this screen see what it's running at right now mind you speed, uh, speed step is turned on but that is a 4 gigahertz as you could see in the BIOS so yeah that's a quick overclocking guide this should run uh, for all uh, for every one of you try to overclock I bumped it to 1.4 to ensure stability I'm sure uh, this does not ensure stability but it does ensure um, if it ran it once you can definitely run it again and yeah thanks for watching guys